Okay, next up, we would like to um, explain what's going on with the solubility in these two cases. So benzoic acid being insoluble in water, acetone being soluble in hexane, and methyl methylene chloride being, and oleic acid being soluble in acetonitrile. Okay, so we know that for solubility, like dissolves like. And so what that means is polar solvents will dissolve polar solutes and nonpolar solvents will dissolve non-polar solutes and then lastly we will have the case of um, how a mix of polar polar and non-polar and so you usually see this in our um, either substituted hydrocarbons or are organic compounds that aren't hydrocarbons because they have things like oxygen attached to them that will be polar because of oxygen's um, electronegativity. And so substances like this can only dissolve in substances that are similar. So again, a mix of polar and non-polar. And so let's begin examining our cases. For the first case, we have benzoic acid. Benzoic acid is nonpolar and we're trying the solvent of water and water is polar. So of course we, because these two are not alike it's not going to dissolve and so it makes sense that they that benzoic acid is insoluble in water. Next up we have acetone and acetone is going to be nonpolar. And we have hexane. That is again nonpolar. And so we see these two are alike, and so we expect them to be soluble. And that's as we are told here. And lastly, we have methylene chloride. And this is going to be a mix because you're going to have the hydrocarbon section that is not um, polar and then you're going to have the chlorine attached to it and that is going to be polar due to chlorine's high electronegativity. Um, additionally, we have oleic acid that's going to be the same. And so it's a mix and we're trying to dissolve them both in acetonitrile which is also an organic compound that is a mix. And so we will expect these two to be soluble in the solvent. And those are your final answers.